Hello, it's Paul Driscoll again, and uh, this is part five, as crazy as that is, of um, the games on the Amiga uh, for Antstream uh, that I personally recommend. And uh, I think it's testament to this, so we're on part five now. Um, very, very good. So let's go in there. All right, oh, I can at least choose Amiga, it's starting to know me. So as I say, uh, part one went from uh, A all the way to F and you know I missed out big games here like Brutal Football was quite a lot of fun, Bubble Dizzy is a bit of fun, Bubble is a bit of fun um, and of course you know Cadaver and um, California games, these are all big games so you know by no means it's a definitive list I've been covering. Um, but they're the ones that are either interesting or, or dear to my heart. Uh, part two went all the way up to the letter M. Part three went uh, to uh, the letter R, P to R. Uh, then we did one on S and T, that was a big episode. Um, and now we're coming up to part five, which is uh, basically U to Z. Now there's no U. Um, it's got nice graphics, Vampire Empire, it's not a great game though, I'll probably leave it. Uh, probably this is the first game that I would recommend showing, uh, Venus of I Flytrap. Nice sort of platform slash shooter. So cycle weapons and then fire and jump, okay. Alright, let's play. It's often forgotten about game, but it's a nice um, get nothing. shoulder buttons to trigger. It's a fun little platformer really, uh, one of those where is it a platformer or is it a shooter? It's a lot better than I remember this one. Bit of fun. I 
want to get the three way. Right, keep going. missed it. Well, you get the idea, I'm not going to play anymore. It's a fun game. It's totally different to how I remembered it. Okay. But very good. Video Kid is another one that I recommend as well. Uh, another sort of platformy shooter by Gremlin. Very cute. The idea is, is you sort of go get drawn into a TV program. And it starts off fantasy, so he's dressed as Well done. 
<clears throat> very well done at all. But never mind, it's good fun. So each world is completely distinctive, so you go to like a western world. Uh, there you go, that'll do, I think. Uh, it's, it's a fun game. It's uh, one that you do need to practice, which I haven't clearly, as you can see. Oh, Vixen. Uh, not a very good game. Wacky Darts, not a very good game. Weird Dreams is... Uh, weird by its definition not a game I'd recommend but just curious uh, the idea you're in a coma and you're having these weird dreams and you've got to get yourself out of the coma it's a very interesting idea for a game it's essentially a set of mini games not a lot of fun uh, and it's random depending on where you go so this is obviously you're in a candy floss machine and you've got to dodge don't really know what I need to do here it seems to have dodged him Go. <laughs> I guess I could have stayed there dodging and there you die and start for another life it's a weird game it's got I remember like a plants eating you and things it's uh, strange uh, let's go through these ones so you've got uh, Whizball um, better known on the C64 and Spectrum the 8 bits but particularly the C64 uh, but it's an interesting game. You basically, you have to change the world into colours. It's black and white. And you're a bouncing green ball. So there you go. Oh, my web. It's got motion there, as you can see, which makes it. Oh my word. Never was very good at this game. <laughs> I might have another go at this properly when I know what the hell I'm doing. No, okay. Right. Let's give it one more go. See, this motion, you can't, I can't seem to turn the other way. Let's have a look here. Oh, my god, let's wait this up. Oh, I lost the green. It is more interesting than it, it seems I'm making it, but it is good. You basically very difficult to get used to the uh, the controls. Now, bizarrely, they've got WizKid, which is technically, although it's nothing to do with WizBall, the sequel. Um, <laughs> it's 
Dory Wizball 2. So, BG Steel. Okay. Okay. Head back. Oh, my web. So rather than colours, it's all about music. Absolutely mad game. Dear, yeah. Oh, my. Um. Anyway, I think that will do. You can see it's mad. It's beautiful. It's actually a lot better than I remember. Okay, finally, let's. Uh, so, I think everybody knows worms. I'm not going to show that. The Amiga version was the original version, so it's lovely that it's here. And it is the director's cut, that is so cool. So, the director's cut had all the extras of the first one. But um, I'm not going to play that.
That's good that it's direct to scat, that's quite unique. Um, Xenon. Interesting little shooter. So this is one of the games that really put um, Bitmap Brothers on the map. And this was um, an Arcadia release. And Arcadia was a failed idea to use the fantastic graphics of the Amiga with a bit more RAM. Oh dear. And do like uh, arcade games on the cheap. Um, it's a nice idea, but, but to be honest, the the people that were programming on it, they were more used to 8-bit and. Oh dear. Anyway, you get no idea with that one. It's a good. It's, uh, I'm not giving it justice there. It's, a, it's really good when you get into it. So in many ways, it's probably better than the this one. Let's go back on again. Quick game. I want to show you the music again. Amazing music by. Um, well, for the bit, not brothers. Obviously, it's bombed the base. Um, now they so there they sort of passed off the graphics um, and coding to the assembly line. Really, I mean, Mark Coleman did a lot of the. Gosh darn it. It is good, <laughs> trust me. Um, I'm trying to rush the last few really, if I'm honest. Um, it's just so Zool. These are good platformers, I don't care. Oh, Zach McCracken, um, it's an okay uh, point and click adventure people might not have heard of. A zone Warrior, actually. I'm going to show this one briefly. This is surprisingly good. People don't often... Not classic, very clunky. But there's a certain charm to it. Okay. Pray uh, the Amiga. Through the caves. And the idea is you've got to see that map that you're building up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rescue the damsel. There you go. And finally, we got Zool and Zool 2. Great games. This is basically Gremlin's answer to Sonic. Ah, so difficult to... A lot of these games are just difficult to play on a controller. It really needs. There you go. Before my batteries run out, let's show you the sequel. And then that will do, I think, because I'm not going to. Synapse isn't a particularly good shooter. Mate coming. Here you can play the girl, Zools, as well as Zool. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. I think it's been another long episode. Uh, but there you go. That's pretty much all the games I would recommend. There's quite a lot, really. Um, let's just say Zynaps right very quickly before my mate arrives. Very basic graphics. It's a shame they haven't got Z out and uh, X out. There's some really good shooter oh my man yeah i can't i can't face it it's not a good shooter it's an early houston shooter but there you go that is everything on the amiga that's part five um well not everything on the amiga but the ones i personally recommend so i hope you enjoyed until next time keep it retro